Hey what's up Gurlal Deep here for index3d.com and welcome back to another very exciting tutorial. Today we are gonna be taking a look at rigging Luxo JR Pixar lamp which was designed by John Lasento and in this tutorial we will create a basic rig and then in the next tutorial we will create a more advanced rig with the working springs and pole target and then we will create a custom shapes and before we start go ahead and download the free model from my gumroad page just type in zero and click on i want this or if you want to support this channel you can pay whatever you want and if you need a rigged model then you can join me on patreon and you will get all the project files so let's get started and before you start rigging make sure your model is aligned properly okay so now i will press shift s selection to world origin so my selection is over here i will add bone shift a armature we can't see it because it's underneath our lamp so go to object data property and click on in front as you can see and now i will rotate it and the first i will enable the axis so as you can see x is pointing in the right direction but y, y is pointing up and z is pointing in the wrong direction so i will match it with the world origin so go to edit mode and then select r x minus 90 so now as you can see it's pointing right way x y and z and then i will scale it a bit because it's a root one so i will type root now i will press again shift a and this will add another bone over here now i will align all the bone with all the screw because this is where it will rotate so here is how you can do it select the screw shift as cursor to selection and then go to edit mode sorry and then click here shift as selection to cursor now as you can see it's perfectly aligned with this screw and now i will repeat the same thing again so you can either watch it or skip the video and so i will press e to extrude the bone then i will go select this one shift s then again in the edit mode cursor to selection then i will again select this bone shift s selection to cursor and then select this bone extrude it selection to cursor then again i will select this bone then I will select this one, edit mode. Sorry. Sorry. And then I will select this one, E to extrude, cursor to selection. And then one more one for the IK target, E, like that. Okay. And now we need more bones for this, this mechanism and then this mechanism. So I will again press this one, E. And then I will select this one, shift test and then select this one and cursor to selection and then i will select this one shift s selection to cursor and then i will select this one e and then i will select this one selection to cursor so now it this one is perfectly aligned with this one now i will need one more for that area sorry so i will select this screw shift s cursor to selection and then i will add another bone make sure you are adding all the bone in the same armature so shift a and then i will select this shift and then in the edit mode i will put that this and e and then this okay and then i will go to x-ray view and i'm gonna like scale it uh, i'm first i will duplicate it and then i will scale it down so we have two bones uh, i will tell you why we have a two bones and a moment but first let's create all the bones and then i will select this screw shift s and then make sure again you are in the same armature in the edit mode and then add a armature and we need one more bone for the rotation so easy and i can r x sorry and active element r x 90 now it's like that or we can either push it more up like that 
so we have all the required bones except bones for the square for the spring but we will do that later so now we have uh, successfully created all the armature so let's parent armature to our mesh but before that select the armature and then go to edit mode and then as we can see that the armature is not accurate it's rotated like that and over here as well so let's fix the role of the bone so we can either do it manually with the role setting like that or we can do it automatically just select all the bones go to the armature bone roll recalculate and then recalculate x now as you can see it's uh, perfectly now i will select this bone then i will select selection to cursor now i i think all everything is perfectly straight but just to make safe i will select all of them and then i will scale it in the x axis s x 0 so now it's everything is uh, straight now let's parent it to the mesh i will select this armature and then go to pose mode and then we can select this object and then parent it but unfortunately we can't select it to, to do that go to edit and then uncheck this box lock object modes and now we can select that and then that so i will select this and then this okay like this and then click on the click on the bone shift click on the bone and then control p parent to bone now i will select this bone shift click on the bone and then control p then i will select this one shift click on the bone control p and then click on this bone uh, this object and then shift click on the bone control p and then i'm gonna i'm gonna select this one shift click on this one control p and then i'm gonna select this one and then this one shift click parent and then i'm gonna select this object and then this control p bone and and then i'm gonna select this one and then this one control p and then i'm gonna select this one and then this control p and then i'm gonna select this object and then this one control p now we have rigged it i mean we have parented it so let's run some test so i'm gonna set, try to move that and we can move that and i will just move that and see if it's working so it's kind of working yeah except few screws are not working which we can fix it pretty easily okay and then this one is also not working so i'm gonna just go to the i'm just gonna select that and that control p keep offset and this one this object this uh, screw was not working so i will select that control p keep offset and then this one was not also working control p keep offset let's see what else is not working okay these two screws are not working so i will select Let's select this one and then this control P offset. Let's do that again. And yeah, this one is not working. So I'll select that and then parent it to that one. And yeah. Yeah, and then this one. Parent it to that. Offset. I'm gonna select this and uncheck and front and I'm just like that parent let's see I, I think now it should work okay it's working and for the for the yeah for the spring uh, I will hide it for now because we are gonna do that at the end because that's a bit complicated complicated i'm gonna just hide it now let me see if it's working okay it's working and yeah it's working okay only these two screws are not working i will select this screw and then this screw and then that 
this screw this screw and then this object control p keep offset okay so now i will go to like pose mode and then i will check I'll check that and then that and then that okay now I will select this one uh, go to edit mode and then I will parent this one to that one control P keep offset now we can control everything with the root one for the, this two I will have to like do few changes uh, I will now select this one sorry this one and then parent this one to this one control p keep offset and let's see what else is not working okay this one is working and this screw is not working so I'll select that one and then parent it to that one control p keep offset and let's see again what else is not okay this one is not working i believe so i will select this one and then this one control p keep offset so now everything should work Select the armature, go to pose mode and then move it. As you can see, it's working and then this one is also working. So now we are like we are like done with the parenting. Now let's set up all the IK constraints. So I will select this bone and then in the pose mode I will go to bone or uh, bone constraint. This one is object constraint, so make sure you are in the bone constraints okay and i have a separate video for all the constraints which you can uh, watch link will be in the description and then i will select this and then i will add a ik and then i will select the same armature and then i, I want to select this bone but but as you can see i don't know what is the name so i will rename it and i will type main ik and now we can easily select it from here just type main and then main ik so now if i move this uh, it will not work because the target should not be in the same chain of the bone so now it's parented to that bone so we will just have to clear the parent so alt p clear parent and then now if i move this one it's working but but the IK is working from here as you can see but we just want the IK to work from here to here so there's a three one one two three so I will increase the chain length one two and then three and for a reason I can't see the relationship line so if i click or click here and then now we can see the line so as you can see now it's only work from there to there and if i increase the chain length it will work from here to here let's see now it's kind of working okay so i will clear the clear the location with the alt g and i will enable so you can see the shortcuts I will set up one more constraint for this area I will select that and then again in the constraint tab I will add IK constraint and then I'm gonna select this armature and I want to constraint this bone to that bone and so let's name that again uh, IK target bottom because it's a bottom or you can name it better and I can type get target bottom and now again chain length should be one two two bone one and two now if I move this as you can see it's working now I will create a third third uh, third IK so if you remember we made we made a uh, let me go to x-ray view it's not working in the pose mode maybe it's a bug or whatever so as you can see this is extra one which we created and this is the one we are going to use we can use that one as well but what is the problem with that one let me show you so if I now push it up and then move it as you can see the bone is going like going like up 
from here so if i like generate the icon on that one it will not work perfectly let me show you ok and then the same armature and then main target main ik which is this so now if i move this one as you can see it will break as you can see it's broken what i can do now is i can use this one as a target so i will type it main uh, sorry ik ik target top so this one is bottom this one is top so now i will type ik and then target top now if i move this and now as you can see it's working right so it's not like going there and alt c now i will again select that bone and now i will create a chain length so one and then two which go there and as you can see now uh, it's still not working like the way we should it should work i think no no yeah it's working now as you can see it's working and now i will do one more thing for this one so i just want it to rotate in the x axis okay and the x axis so i will go to that and i will change it to polar and i will lock everything and now if i rotate it or move it sorry i will lock lock the move so if i move it it will still rotate and if i rotate it it will still rotate it on on this one i'm gonna uh, lock everything except z because i want it to rotate in the c direction and also all the now if i make it it will rotate in the z direction okay so we are successfully made our rig as you can see it's working and now we need few more constraint to like for now we can like make push it up like that and then we can push it down like that we don't want that want that so we will create few more constant to limit the rotation and rotation so for that i will click here add our and then limit distance constant and again i have uh, made in-depth tutorial about all the constant which you can watch as usual link will be in the description so i want to like limit the distance from this one to this one so i will just click here and then name it base this one should be root okay now i'm gonna select the base bone i'm in the top bone and then i will select the target and the base bone base bone and from inside i will make it outside because now if i like push it up it will go up but no i will make it inside so if i now push it it will not go up so i will turn it off for a moment and then i will push it up until like that this is how much i want it to go and then i will just turn that on and then click here so now if i try to move it more than this it will not go like that see now let's if i make it down it will still go down so i will create one more limit distance constant limit distance again select the same armature and then i'm gonna select the base and this time i will make it outside so it will always stay outside of that distance which we, we are going to define so i will turn off for a moment so i can see and this is this is how much i want it to go like that i will now turn it off and then i click on this area now it will not go up and then it will not go down like that. this is the main distance okay and that's it for this tutorial in the second part we will rig springs and then we will add a pole target we will polish the uh, rig and then at the end we will add a uh, custom shapes and thank you guys for watching my name is gurlaldeep and we will see you next time